close your eyes and focus right here. That's the question the Buddha wants to ask, have you ask, which is, what am I doing right here, right now? The question, who am I, where am I, that's not nearly as important as the question, what am I doing? Because when you look at what you're doing, you begin to realize it. We can just ask it in that tone of voice, what am I doing? We want happiness and yet we cause ourselves suffering. And sometimes the more things we do, the more suffering we cause. And you begin to wonder why. It was the, well, the Buddha said it's out of ignorance. If we really knew what we were doing, a lot of things we wouldn't do. We'd be a lot more careful about our actions. This is why we go into the present moment, not because it's a wonderful place, but because it's an important place. Because this is where the decisions that are shaping your life are being made. You can't go back and straighten out your past decisions. And as for your future decisions, the best way of making sure that they're skillful is to do what you can right now. To be skillful, to be clear, to be harmless in your actions. So you want to look at what's going on in the mind. Where is it moving? What direction is it going? Because if it keeps on going the same direction again and again and again, it wears ruts into the mind. When you've got a rut in the mind, it's very hard to get out. You can get out. If it were, if it were impossible to get out, then there'd be no point in training the mind. You'd be stuck. But you don't want to get more stuck than you have to be. You don't want to keep on creating ruts that you're going to later have to get out of. It's like knowing that you're going to have to clean up your house, so why make it a mess? So look at what you're doing right now. Make sure that your words, your thoughts, your deeds are all in line with the principles of skillful action. And though it may seem like a lot of work, what else are you doing? And we do have the concentration as a source of strength. The Buddha said it's like having that fortress on the frontier. With the concentration, you've got all the food and and water that you need, the strength to keep you going, with a sense of well-being. Because after all, this is, this is good work. It's not like somebody else out there is telling you what you have to do and being arbitrary about it. The Buddha tells you what to do, but he's offering it as a suggestion. If you want true happiness, I say, okay, this is what you need to do, because this is the way cause and effect work. It's up to you to decide that that's what you really want out of life. But then you might want to stop and ask, well, what else would you want if you didn't want true happiness? That's what we're looking at as we're looking in the present moment. We're looking at our actions, we're looking at our intentions, and trying to make sure that they're as skillful and harmless as possible. So try to keep your gaze steadily focused right here, because this is where all the important decisions in your life are being made, right here, right now. 